you know, kind of like your dad, a one-team guy. Uh, that's that's a huge blessing. Um, I mean, I want what what I've always wanted to be black and gold. Um, I've said that plenty of times. Um, whether I play 15 years or 16 years, I want to be here. Uh, I love the, the the fact that we've been in this locker room for so long, and I've seen what three locker room changes. I love the fact that you know whether whether we've had different D coordinators, different D line, that I've still had success here, and I, I see myself almost as a as a pseudo New Orleans. I mean. Uh, my kids are New Orleanians, and they, they're straight 504 babies. Um, you know, they're all born over there at Turo. So, New Orleans is home my way. Yeah, I would just say camp is going so far. I mean, I'll say the, the three days of minicamp, look, everybody looks fast. Everybody looks great. Every, like, everybody looks special without pads. You say what you want about it. Make the stories how you're going to feel about it. I don't care until we get the live bullets. I mean, I think right now, Everybody's working on technique, which is phenomenal, and I love that we can come together as a team and, you know, put put some games on film, put some situations on film. Um, and again, everybody looks going to look great in a two-minute drill with no pads on, and everybody everybody's zoned in. Give it, you know, give me give me that two-minute drill in training camp when everybody got pads on, everybody's tired. We've gone through 14 periods, and things are getting thick. Give me give me that feel, and then we can talk about it. I know it's the other side of the ball, but what has been your impression with him? He's amazing. Uh, everybody's amazing without pads. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, I, uh, you know, Derek Carr, the focus that he brings, I love how competitive he is. The first day, I thought that was a little, that's a boy, okay. <laughs> um, you know, I, every, everybody that takes the field, you see DC, his focus, his drive, you know he can win in this league, and at the same time, I didn't, you know, you don't know how competitive he is until he gets out. He's like, bro, he's like, I love the way the defense is coming after me. Like, you know, it feels like when I was here, I was throwing whatever it is, and, like, it would be allowed to be caught. Here, you guys are contesting everything. I don't know any different. All we know is the Saints way. Are you ever going to get to the point where you don't want all the reps? I, don't, I was fighting for reps today, and I didn't get any. I'm just like, I'm, I get it. It's minicamp, but I don't get it. I want them all. Uh, I don't know. If, if I don't want them all, I don't know what that means for me. Every every time you know we take the field, there's opportunities there, and I want every opportunity. Yeah, how much better is this team than it was at the end of last season? I don't know how to answer that. Every, at, I, I, I thought at the end of last season we were looking pretty good. Um, are we? Were we not? I think we beat Philadelphia. Like we ended the year well. Uh, that being said, you know I I think that we have a lot of we have a lot of poise in a, in a position to be good. Um, but who cares about? June, you know, you don't win any games in June. You 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 win the mentality in June. You can put yourself in position to be to win games in June just with everybody being here and being bought in. But until we put pads on, until we actually take the field, I can say we look great. I can say it looks phenomenal. Everybody looks fast. Did you see Olave go over top somebody uh, yesterday? You saw, you know, uh, the tight ends making some plays today in the middle. Let's put pads on to see if we're making the same plays. Then we can talk about it. I like the way Alante was breaking on the ball yesterday. I mean, there's a lot of great things that are happening on both sides of the ball. And at the end of the day, you can't win Sunday just quite yet. When will you be able to gauge it? Or is it Somewhere in training, training camp. camp. Always in training camp. Okay. You know, you're not. You know, you're going to say the second or second preseason game. You're going to have a feel for what you can do. Um, but just like any year prior, once we get into the season, those first couple games, that's going to be telling. When we, when we get to those highs, we need to see if we can't reach a higher peak if we can't stay consistent on that peak. Um, last year or two, you saw great games and you saw not so great games. If you can have a great game and then your your worst game is still great, that's when you know you have an excellent team. What have been some of your early impressions of some of the new guys that you like what is a Colin? Saunders. Yeah, he goes by Bink, so we call him Bink. Look, uh, he's, look, when people come in with nicknames already, I don't, I don't argue that. Yeah, you, you said Colin. In fact, I called him Kalen, and he got mad at me. So, like Bink, um, I love the idea that he's a nose tackle and he like embraces that. And at the same time, he still got some wiggle, uh, and he has that. You know, he has that, that the mentality that he brought from Kansas City, like this is how we won, this is how we did this, and this is how we did this, and we're going to accept all of it. I mean, what what do we want to do? We want to win, and he's he's seen success at the highest level twice. You know, um, we're trying to we're trying to absorb everything you can from him. He's like, yo, we ran a game, and this will work here if it was effective here. Great, I'm gonna take all of that because this is how we ran games. This was effective. This was ineffective. This is how we want to better ourselves. Let's let's make some magic. Um, you talk about uh, who, who you talking about? Shepard now? You know, you, Big Shep. I think. He's a three technique I really didn't know about. 
Um, but I think he's got some promise there. I can't wait to put pads on and be like, all right, this is what he's good at. Because I'm gauging, I'm gauging get offs off of no pads. And again, everybody looks faster with no pads on. When you're a wide three and you know situation is what it is. Let's see when we put pads on. How you're gonna tighten up? If you see we get a slide our way, you know we, we actually get the tight end chips. We're not catching tight end chips without pads. This is seven on seven at its finest. This is this is the time where fans get excited because everybody looks fast. Duh. There's there's not much to think about. They, you know we're catching we're just catching your vanilla right now. Let's see what happens when we start throwing this. You know your additives. Um, then of course you talk about. Uh, Fowski and, and uh, my coach keeps calling him Brees. It's gonna mess me up. Brian Brian Brzee. Um, I, I love the way that you know they're cultivated. Uh, just just getting new energy on, on the ground. The way Brzee, Brzee starts takes the uh, information at hand. He's like, I can make it mine. Everything he everything you tell him, he's like, Yep, got it. You don't got it yet. But I love I love the mentality that you're willing to accept it. You know, um, Big Isaiah. Isaiah is like so hungry to learn. He's like, hey, how did I place my hand? And you love to see it because that reception is going to be able to propel all of us as a, as a team to be a little bit better. If we can all be just better as people, better as a, as a DN, better as a D tackle, whatever it is, it's going to make us a better D line, which in, which in turn, as you saw this last Super Bowl, if you have a great D line, you can win a Super Bowl. Are you, are you aware of cars? Not from last year. Not our game? Okay. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure when we played them over in Las Vegas, there was there was a time for that. Um, but you could tell me his stats better than I than I can tell you. Me, I look at I look at him with what he brings to the table now, and I love what I see. Again, I see that competitive edge. I see what he wants to do, how he's talking to the wide receivers. You see that that. I'll say a vernacular experience that is a, is a great quarterback when you have check downs, when you have, you know, bringing in wide receiver, you have motion outs, and he's controlling all of it already, you're getting excited about it. So you tell me how great he is in the fourth quarter, and I, I'm just going to love it.